very well. It was very good, very smooth, no, no, easy, no problems at all. None, all the vehicles got here, nobody ran out of batteries on the motorway. I drove the uh, Peugeot Ion, which interestingly is the same vehicle that is featured on tonight's Top Gear. Uh, where they did run out of batteries on, on top here, but uh, interestingly, right in front of where all the cameras were set up. Not that I'm saying that there's any any conspiracy going on. And we we didn't run out of, we didn't run out of anything. We got here without any trouble at all. We recharged a bit in uh, the lunch break, and then it got here fine. So. I'm Paul Blessard. I'm a motorcycle journalist with a particular interest in electric bikes and scooters. It was it's always fun to ride electrics. They they're great. Um, they're just really nice scooters to ride and they have this unique selling point of having regen braking so whereas on a conventional bike you have accelerator and then you grab the levers of the brakes on this you can ride it all day long on the regen when you just shut the, you turn the throttle away from you and you you use the motor as a brake so you not only get braking but you get more juice into your but like the curves in Formula One so have it all going? And it, increases your range and it, it's just all very green and um, but good fun as well. Hello my name is Phil Barker and the chief engineer at Lotus Engineering for hybrid and electric vehicles. This car is a series hybrid vehicle and what we've created is a very efficient powertrain. This is a, another example where we use the Lotus range extender engine and this is an engine that's purely being developed to drive a generator, it never drives the wheels. So we've made an engine that can run at specific operating points, at its very efficient operating point in its engine map. So the purpose of the engine is to generate electricity that can be used to charge the batteries. Oh, I see. So effectively the car runs as an electric car? That's right, it's got a pure electric drive, but with the range extender engine, um, we don't have that range anxiety that you would have with a pure EV. I see, right. So you can put anything into the tank then? You can always fill it up at a standard filling station. We've made the engine so that it's flex fuel compatible, so that we can run it on petrol, we can run it on ethanol or methanol, or any mix of those three fuels. What are we looking at down at the front here? Anything sort of special? We've developed a sound synthesis system for a couple of purposes. One is driver enjoyment. You can hear that there's some engine sounds being played now. Right, so you're going to really see put those engine sounds into the car? That's right, yes. We have a twin electric drive system, a twin motor setup. Each motor produces 150 kilowatts. So that's a total power output of the equivalent of 414 horsepower. So we have each wheel being independently driven. There's no mechanical differential between each side. Moving forward, we have the Lotus designed range extender engine which drives a generator producing 50 kilowatts of electricity which can be used to recharge the battery. There's the battery there. Yep. What you're doing seems to be quite unique. Are there other people doing the same sort of thing? Or? There are other people creating various configurations of hybrid drive. This is just one of many configurations of hybrid drive being a series hybrid. With the Toyota systems they're classified as a parallel hybrid where there is a mechanical link between the engine and the road wheels. With a series hybrid, there's no mechanical link. It just drives a generator. Excellent. Pretty impressive. Thanks for talking to Positive TV. You're very welcome. Cheers. You press the button and uh, get an awful lot of help up the hills, and you more or less can stay in top gear all the time. I think it's about 60. I'd have to check the uh, map. Uh, part of it was off-road, which is why there's this dust, that's an old railway line between ah. Tame and Princess Risborough. Uh, some of it was on-road, some of it was tedious on-road through Southall and places where you go 100 yards and then have to stop for the lights. Um, and some of it was quite nice cycle tracks at the sides of roads, so it was, uh, it was fine. Most impressive. Thank you. I didn't think I'd be seeing you. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith, if you can get up Gypsy Hill, you can get from Oxford to... Um, <laughs> to London, yeah. so um, pop up and see us at the top of Gypsy Hill, Blue Door Bicycles. Well that's an end to this year's Bridgestone Eco Rally 2011. Everything went perfectly, very very smooth ending, no cars broke down, everybody was happy, smiley faces, there's been electric scooters, cars powered by farts, um, electric bicycles, I've been on about 10 different ones. And all I can tell you people is that this right here is the future, and the future is smooth, 
It's silent. It's very sexy. It's very fast. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.